Well, my car passed the MOT there during the week. I got a cancellation. I'm going to take this front seat out now. I want to show people how to take it out. Uh, one of the main problems of taking a front seat out that people will be scared off, and that is one is the airbag and the seat belt tensioner. Um, so I have to cover off that seat belt tensioner. I don't bother, I didn't bother putting it on, it hasn't been on this last two years, passes the MOT. That just pulls off, uh, so it does. So I have, I've, I've already pre recorded the seat belt tensioner uh, two weeks ago with my nephew. So I'll piece that on here now how the seatbelt tensioner works. And then once, once that's disconnected, <clears throat> I'll disconnect the rest of the seat then. Uh, where does that go? I don't know. Um, when that pushes in the slot, pushes in, that black clip pops up. But there's more to it than that. The black clip holds it, but there's other cogs and wheels that spring around to stop that black clip moving. So what do we see now? Push this on now, see if it works. See the wee clip now? That's how it locked in. Um, to release it, you see where see when I push that in, that black clip goes down. To release it, you must push it down fully first. And this white wheel in here is stopping that black clip from moving down into place. So you get a screw over here at the bottom. Move that wheel round. See the wheel going round? And Push that down with your hand and it comes out. We get that. Yes. <laughs> it's complicated what eh? So put it on. Do no action replay. Clips on like so. This white plastic stops it from pushing down. Now if I was to move the white plastic on its own, if I move the white plastic on its own. It's still not going to pop down because the actual black clip is spring loaded. You must push this in. And you push that in, that allows it to go down. It's already three hands, you get the idea. That's about as good as we can do here now. And then this wee cover just screws back on again. And I'm sure other cars use the same thing. I forgot to put the cover on last year, the MOT. It's all passed. It's only cosmetic. Well, the seatbelt tension is taken out now. Um, the seatbelt tensor doesn't set off no alarms on the car. Now, I don't know what happens once you start to drive and if you don't have your seatbelt plugged in now it might go off but it doesn't set off no alarms but once you take out the airbag it does. So the next thing now we take out these screws for the seats. There's two in the back. The ones in the back are easy enough to get at. So there's a two in the back there. None of those wee clips on them seats. But because I take this off and on every year I don't bother about the clips. There's any wee plastic things they pull off them plastic things so I don't bother putting them on again it's very hard holding the phone and holding this both I'll tell you so you get the idea once you loosen it off it's one of them wee screw things there for the focus in so that's something off there like same on the other side now just one thing I forgot here, the seat won't come out right with the headrest on, you take the headrest off. Um, pull the seat back, the way. just push the wee button in there, these two hands, push the wee button in and the headrest pulls off. So I just tilt the seat back and then you get the headrest off. Um, front screws now. Slide the seat back. The front of the car is a lot easier to do than the back. That's the only awkward screw away in there. Where is it? I can get at it. That one in there is awkward. If you have wings with wee hands, you get the screw, but because it's so clipped, you can't put your spanner up, up the ways. Same as the back, now you put your wee spanner and just slack that off. And then say this side here, you can almost do it up the ways. The other one, you have to just loosen it off and do it with your fingers. Just one other wee tip, whenever you get an awkward screw like this, you have to do it by hand. You should, this will always be the first one you put in and the last one you take out. And then it makes it easier. If you have all the other three screws in first and then do this one, the seat may be just slightly unaligned and make it hard to put in. 
do it that way, it stays loose. So that's the seat disconnected now, apart from the electrics. To do the electrics now, we're going to tilt it forward. Uh, see these runners? Move your seat forward again on the runners first. Move it forward in the runners. Go in the back now and disconnect the, the electric plug. Uh, make sure your car is turned off and you disconnect this plug. Um, you see there's no, there's no alarms on this car now. There's no uh, airbag alarm. But once I unplug this, the airbag alarm is going to come on. So the seat up now, um, there's the yellow plug for the airbag and the seatbelt tensioner. Um, you see this wee yellow knob? You push that wee yellow knob on there. And this black one pulls back. And she just pulls out easily. It's very easy to get this out. No strength at all. It just pops out. That's all there's to it. Um, you can tuck that under the floor there if you want. There's plenty of space underneath. So that's the only connection you have in the front seats. Dead handy. Um, see that wee sensor there? That must be the one that picks up. If you know if, if your seatbelt's not done up. And the alarm goes off to tell you your seatbelt's not on. That's, the, that's what that is there. But all them, you've got the seatbelt tensioner, the airbag, and this wee sensor. It's all in that one plug. Dead handy. Fire pump ignition now. Uh, it's going to come up with that airbag alarm now. Sends a fault with the airbag. So there's the airbag alarm now. But um, whenever you go for them with T the following year, and you plug this back in again. So you plug it in. See, I'm just taking it out. But this time now, I fact that I thought the wrong way. So you push it in now, pull this black thing back. She locks in place. And as you see, if you put on your car again. To Nigeria, and they're still involved the in line, these sort of like come The line won't. Yeah. She had to reset herself there, boys. I'm gonna do that again. The airbag light won't come on now. The engine needs to start up, but the airbag light's not going to come on. Disconnect again. So there you have it. No need for computer resets or nothing for that. I've done it year after year. Uh, how many years by this seat down there? Four years. I the car by five years. In four years I have the seat out. Never no problem. No need to go and get a laptop. And the same as seatbelt tensioner. Seatbelt tensioner just plugs in. Plugs in the same as that. It's dead handy putting together. So there's the seat out now. Uh, I normally keep the seat stored in um, my shed. But what I'm thinking of doing this year, I'm going to make a base for it. And I might put this in my new bedroom and use it as a seat in my bedroom all year round. And then uh, see if store it in the shed. Wouldn't that be handy for the bedroom, Luna? So I'm going to make a wee base for it. So the same runners, probably a wooden box or something. Because I, I can't weld nothing on there. I have to be able to use it again. And then uh, every year then, to get the four screws and bring it back to the car. Job's done. Take out the back ones now. And uh, I'll get back into carry camping mode, Luna.